It is embarrassing at any age, but I am 30 and I wet the bed. You heard it right the first time. I mean, bedwetting is okay for a while when you are a child. It again becomes acceptable when you get older for both men and women. However, 30 is not one of those acceptable ages and it makes life quite inconvenient. I am not sure which is worse, being a 30-year-old virgin or a 30-year-old bedwetter. Luckily, I only have one of these things to worry about, and worry I do. It didn't start until I was 28 years old. At first, it would only be more of a leak instead of a full urination. I could tell it was happening in my sleep, and I could catch it in time to make it to the bathroom. As time went on, the leak got larger, and I could no longer make it to the bathroom before peeing down my leg and ruining yet another pair of pajamas. Not long after that, I wasn't even waking up soon enough to attempt to make it to the bathroom. I would just wake up knowing that I would be in a full-blown puddle of piss. It was just depressing. What made matters even worse was that I was in a new relationship when this started to happen. It used to be an occasional occurrence, so dating wasn't so bad. Even when we started getting serious, things were still occasional, so I thought the situation could stay manageable. Me and my boyfriend had gotten to the point where we were staying together on a regular basis, either his place or mine, and that's when it happened. I should have known it was inevitable, and I should have told him what was going on. However, this was really my first serious relationship, and I loved him so much that I did not have the nerve to tell him. I was hoping for marriage, but all I got was embarrassment. Like I said, it used to be somewhat controllable, so the first couple of times it happened, I was able to make it to the bathroom with just a change of night clothes. It would not be long before I couldn't make it to the bathroom with him there, and my awful secret was exposed. There we both laid in a fresh puddle of steaming urine. He only asked if it was his or mine. I answered bashfully that it was mine as I excused myself to the bathroom to change and then quickly to the linen closet to clean up my shame. We didn't really talk about it much, just kind of laughed it off as if it were some bizarre one-time occurrence. Thankfully, we were at my place, and I didn't also have to bear the shame of ruining his mattress. A week went by, and he wanted to stay at his place. I dreaded the thought, but feared losing my relationship. So, I spent the night at his house with a promise to myself that I would stay super vigilant and rise at the very first feelings. It didn't work. With no way to explain this as a one-time freak accident, I had to admit the problem. Incontinence. He giggled at first, but then when he saw the tears, he knew it was not a laughing matter. We then had to go down the list of preventative measures. If it was not embarrassing enough, I know I had to have an awkward conversation with him about whether I was drinking water too close to bedtime or needed to strengthen my pelvic floor. The minute it became way too much was the night he told me he had something for me. We were at his house. Of course, he said that he had bought something for me and that it was in the bathroom. There the package sat in all its glory on the bathroom vanity, adult diapers. Granted, they were the new slim and pretty ones, but can they really be pretty? Past the point of horrified, I packed the diapers in my bag and left in tears. I just haven't answered his text yet. I am going to the doctor tomorrow, and I guess I will just take it all from there. I am wishing for the best and preparing for the worst. To watch more animated story videos like this, hit that subscribe button and tell us in the comments section what you thought about this story.